This is a patient of mine who, in 2010, underwent a shoulder surgery and arthroscopy in Charlottesville, Virginia, and um, they noted that she had a significant amount of arthritis and a rotator cuff tear in her shoulder um, after that surgery. Because of her continued discomfort and pain in her shoulder, after her initial arthroscopy, they elected to proceed with a partial shoulder replacement. Unfortunately, after that shoulder replacement, she had continued discomfort and really her function was very poor. As I recall, you couldn't really lift your arm up past here maybe, is that about right? Right. So, um, she came and saw me from Charlottesville and we evaluated her and elected to, or noted that we had to take out that partial shoulder replacement because it was shifting out of the joint from her the previous arthroscopy that she had. They, uh, released some ligaments in her shoulder and it caused the shoulder replacement to, to shift out of the joint and we call that anterior superior escape and what was happening is that ball was sliding out of the socket so the only remedy for that would be to take that ball out and put a reverse total shoulder in and we did that in 2011 11. and so we're about a year out now and she's doing extremely well she um, now is able to do most things she wants to do she has no pain and um, her function is great. Why don't you show them what she can do? She can lift her arm up, I'd say about 160 degrees. Go ahead and bring it down now. And she can actually rotate to about 30. And then she can reach behind her back here. And so she has excellent function and excellent pain control. So overall, is doing extremely well from a complex problem. Right. Good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Here you see her preoperative x-rays, including the hemiarthroplasty, uh, which looks to be in relatively good position. Um, you start to see, though, on the axillary view that the humeral head is sitting significantly anterior to the glenoid, which is here. This is um, the patient trying to lift her arm up preoperatively and you could see that the humeral head was riding up against the acromion and on exam you could really see how it was coming out the front uh, not as evident on the x-rays but uh, there was no question she she was escaping uh, anteriorly and superiorly as well her post-operative x-rays reveal a long stem uh, revision implant with the reverse in good position And here's the axillary view with the implants well seated.